back with another video okay guys and today i'm going to be showing you guys how you can take off all this beautiful 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 makeup so stay tuned all right so you want to make sure you got a hundred percent coconut oil like this is raw it has to be raw um you want to make sure you got your makeup wipes i use garnier skin active i use this one these are my makeup wipes guys and you want to make sure that you have some q-tips that's if you have on eyelashes you want to make sure you have some q-tips i'm about to show you guys how to take off your eyelashes easily and i'm showing you guys how to easily take off your makeup so boom that's what i'm using like 10 whites because i understand the struggle girl look this bag is empty when i when i figured out how i can just preserve my whites and easily take off my makeup i said why didn't i know this sooner Shoot, got me over here looking like who done this in the rain. I'm sitting over here using half my wife. Shoot, pack almost empty and I'm just figuring this out. Mm. So I was like, I want to share with you guys so you guys can know and won't be like me wasting money on a whole bunch of makeup wipes. When you could just have the same thing of makeup wipes and a lash for like a month. But if you wear makeup every day, you lash for like, yeah, a month. I don't wear makeup every day, so I've had this for about like three months. Um, three four months i don't wear a lot of makeup guys and i have been using this technique ever since i started wearing makeup so i don't wear a lot of makeup because i didn't know this technique and my face would break out because i still had extra makeup left over so let's get this started first step you want to take your coconut oil and your q-tip you're gonna dip your Q-tip in your coconut oil, right? And you are going to take it. Oh, my face is kind of itchy. It's almost time for the like, get off. And you are going to put it at the tip of your eyelash. That is to loosen up the glue. Don't be scared to put um, coconut oil on the thing. And this is to loosen up the glue that you use for your eyelashes. Like loosen up this glue you know and then you just take your lash off boom and this way that I did it I'm gonna want to take tissue and like go over your eye like this to prevent any of the coming away from getting your eye and the way that I did it when I peeled off my lash, I didn't feel like any of the hair was pulling. I didn't feel none of that. Now, sometimes you be like, uh-uh, that just pulled my lashes out. I just felt it. Nope, I didn't feel like any of my eyelash hairs was pulling. See, I still got them. Boom. This to make sure that you don't become bald eyes. And this also helps, helps produce the growth on your eyelashes for you guys. Who want long eyelashes? I don't really care if I have long eyelashes. That's what they made eyelashes for. <laughs> um, now you want to go for the other eye. Do the same thing you just did um, for the first one. Just maybe this one will be a little easier.
package really came off. It wasn't no difficulty or anything. And if you want to get the coconut oil out of your lash, you put it in a tissue and squeeze it. And that's how you get your coconut oil out of your eyelash. I squeeze it. And I go to the other lash. And I squeeze the oil out of it. Like literally put it in the tissue and squeeze it. Um, this is how I get the oil out. And then I take the lash. And I sit it back in the lash case or wherever you guys put your lashes after you finish. I just had to sit on top of my sink because I'm making this video. Um, now let's get to the part you've all been waiting for, how to take this type of makeup off. You're honestly going to dip your hand in your coconut oil. Mm. Your hand. In your coconut oil and like put it on your face. Now, because I'm wearing a lace front and I am using boho, I'm not gonna put it close to my hairline because boho comes off with oil. So you wanna make sure that everything that you are using is not oil based, but I have to use this to take off my makeup or else the makeup will not come off. So yeah, you're just gonna walk around looking like a glazed donut actually. Make sure I put some on my neck because I do put makeup on my neck. Because I hate those girls who take pictures with their flash and then the top of their face is light and then the bottom is like, we know, honey. It's not your skin tone. So now I'm going to take my makeup wipe and like wipe my face off, guys. As you guys can see, it's more easier when it comes to taking off makeup. Usually I still be having my eyeshadow stuck in the crevices. No. Here's why I say use coconut oil. The coconut oil actually loosens up. Coconut oil actually loosens up all of your stubborn makeup. <laughs> this is one wipe. Now we're going to use another wipe. For the neck part, actually. And if you guys have un soap that you use for your face i do advise you to use your soap and wash your face right now to see if you have any leftover makeup on your face just to make sure you know just in case um i forgot my soap and i didn't bring it with me so i do not have my soap on me but wow i really have no more eyeshadow on my eyes usually i have leftover eyeshadow the only thing i have left over is the glue because that's like kind of stubborn to take out even with the coconut oil but Wow, guys, can you see? I use coconut oil to take off my makeup. This is the first wipe. This is the second wipe, and this one was used on my neck and my whole face. This was just my whole face. Wow. This is the result of using coconut oil to help you take off your makeup. This, this this was a success this was really a success and my face feels it don't feel dry it don't feel nothing it feels so moisturized okay guys now i'm just gonna go get in the shower this was kind of like my nighttime routine for when i wear my makeup um 
but i'll catch you guys in my next video i love you guys we'll be here without you guys <laughs> peace